take a look at shares of Pinterest. They are also down more than 5% at the moment. Um, a number of key issues at play for the company. The ad market, e-commerce, overall economic activity and inflation. CEO Bill Reddy joins us now here in an exclusive interview at Communicopia. Uh, he just took the helm in late June after holding senior positions at both Google and PayPal. Bill, thank you so much uh, for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And on quite the market day, um, but you're no stranger to this. That's you right. were at PayPal during a similarly turbulent time, skepticism over the business model. So how do you approach Pinterest at this moment, especially a time when the market environment for unprofitable tech and the macro backdrop is increasingly challenging? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's certainly an uncertain and changing market dynamic. Uh, one of the things I feel really great about is that during uncertain and changing times, differentiation stands out more and more. I think Pinterest is a very differentiated platform, having inspiration and intent in the same place. That's quite unique amongst platforms. And so I feel great about that. I feel great about the fact that we help our advertisers differentiate, meeting consumers across the purchase journey. And so I think that differentiation is not only standing out for us, but I think increasingly will stand out for advertisers as they make their own shifts. Uh, I can't imagine there's an advertiser in the country that hasn't had their CFO approach them and say, we want you to focus on performance. We want to make mm -hmm. sure that you're getting good uh, you know, payout on the advertising. And oftentimes that presents a bit of a choice for advertisers of, oh, you can get to last click, but you lost your brand story. And you're then competing just on price and delivery speed or things like that versus Pinterest allows advertisers to really reach consumers in that moment where they're still deciding what to buy. Um, they have intent, but they're still deciding what to buy. And advertisers can both tell their brand story mm -hmm. and get great performance on Pinterest. So I think that differentiation is a key to the platform and I think something over the long term that we feel really good about. And the key word there, you said it is intent, right? And that's why I think you saw Amazon's advertising business hold up because people go there with the intent to buy something. Um, but I don't think anyone needs to be convinced of Pinterest's potential. It's always been there. It's the execution. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to approach that? What do you need to do in terms of getting scaling that merchant base and what does that mean for the company's balance sheet and profitability? Yeah, it's, it's a great point, Deirdre. And I think Pinterest is a platform that has, as you said, tremendous potential, but a lot of leverage left in the platform. And I think that leverage in the platform comes in a few different places. I think one is that while more than half of people on Pinterest say they're there to shop, you know, there's a lot more we can do to take that inspiration all the way to action. And so of those half of people that are on Pinterest to shop, how many of them today are able to click to go to a place to buy something? That's a small percentage today. We can make that a much greater percentage over time. And doing that, that's going to drive deeper engagement on the platform. It's going to be great for our user engagement, but it's also a highly monetizable event as well. And so that's one example where there's a lot more potential on the platform. But broadly speaking, I think this inspiration to action goes across a number of different categories, not just shopping. We see lots of other usage on the platform where we can go from inspiration and intent to action, and there's tremendous opportunity in that across the platform. Um, Pinterest was ambivalent about video for a long time. Now along has come TikTok. What's the video strategy now, particularly because short form video seems to be pretty good at attracting audiences? Yeah, it's a, it's a great point, John. And we now see more than 10% of the engagement on the platform is video. And so we've been thoughtfully mixing video into the platform. But I think one of the really interesting things about Pinterest is that there's a very unique use case on Pinterest. I think you're seeing multiple platforms sort of compete for, you know, where do you go to watch the next funny dance video? But people come to Pinterest with a purpose. It's not like other discovery platforms that are lean back. It's a lean forward. It's a lean forward activity. You're there with a purpose. You're there to make, to do, to, to shop. And so in doing that, we think that we can not only update our content with more video, but more, more content with a purpose, and that's more differentiated. I think the other thing that people may not fully appreciate about Pinterest is that one of the things that's very unique about it is that there's not only great ML and computer vision, but a tremendous amount of human curation mm. that happens on Pinterest. So if you want to go look for a great dress, you can do that lots of places. But if you want to figure out a great outfit, what shoes and handbag and accessories are going to go well with that dress, Pinterest can give you that answer, I think, in a way that no other platform can so because of the human curation.